you guys had recommended this video to me over a month ago. I haven't gotten around to watching it yet. Balkans vs Reddit. By the way, YouTubes, you don't know this about me. Most likely you don't. I'm half Balkan. I am half Balkan. I'm half German and half Balkan. Here you go, chat. Here you go, YouTube. Now you know. Now you know. People cope with hardships in many ways. Some people cry, others get angry. Oh my god, the song! Some give up. <laughs> but not if you're from the Balkans. You may think you know the internet, but trust me, you don't know anything about Balkan people internet. One of the funniest and most interesting <laughs> corners of the web. Uh, bro, is this, is this going to be about the um, Balkan Reddit where they all bonded together over hating one another or something? Is that the video? <laughs> <laughs> What's Balkan a state of being? True? True? Is Balkan people internet. That, in internet years, spans Balkan history, which is so in-depth that you probably couldn't cover it all in one video. But what you should know is that it consists of some of the greatest empires in history, communism and fascism. What you should yep. know is that it consists of some of the greatest empires in history. Here you go. The Ottomans, Macedonia and Austria. Communism and fascism, religious wars and hate love yeah ethnic wars world wars and most recently internet wars if you oh, yeah. know it's this region in europe made up here you go that region that down here of the following nation albania bosnia Herzegovina, so basically Obosia. serbia croatia slovenia bulgaria greece turkey macedonia montenegro romania and kosovo question mark so chat can you guess which Balkan country I am from? Well, not really. Where my father is originally from. I don't actually have a lot of uh, interactions with my father. I was born in Germany. My mom is German. My mom has always been in German. Half German blood. <laughs> Any guesses? Any guesses? Bulgaria? Uh, uh, no. Albania? Yep, that's the one. That's the one. And these nations don't particularly like each other. Here's a safe rule when wondering which nation- Oh yeah. Um, from what I know, everyone hates Serbia. <laughs> or something. Everyone just hates Serbia. And it's friends with which in the Balkans. If the two countries share a border, they don't like each other. If they don't share a border, there's a 70% chance they don't like each other. One of the defining characteristics of the typical Balkan YouTube commenter is nationalism. But I don't want you to interpret this as a nationalist in the West. Oh, no. America, we don't tolerate that kind of crap, sir. In the Balkans, nationalism is the norm. Due to the many hardships yeah. endured by these people, oftentimes inflicted. I don't know how to pronounce that uh, name, but Winterfell, thanks for the follow. By neighboring countries. When I say hardships, I'm not talking a trade agreement fell through. I'm talking wars, annexations, and genocides. If you hear what I mean. <laughs> To show it. you what I mean, here are some examples. Fucking gay. Greece. Home of sexuality. Long live the Ottoman Empire. Bulgarians above all. Bulgarians rulers of the world. Oh Bulgarians my god. Bulgarians were invincible warriors. Bulgarians creators of almost all civilizations. Now, you might see these as bad or hilarious, depending on who you are. But remember, nationalism is the norm for people who grew up here. So they took to the internet yeah. to share their disdain for each other. What did that say? Posting some. Well, oh. no, 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 back. If you are a normal person on Balkan, you don't need to wear seatbelt because we are dying like mad. <laughs> that is actually so Balkan, <laughs> bro. I was living a couple of years in Greece too, right? Bro, no one wore seatbelts. No one. And they didn't put the fucking blinker lights on if they were turning left and right. If they die, they die. <laughs> posting some of the most ridiculous and unintentionally hilarious comments of all time without a shred of irony. But if you know anything about internet irony, you know things tend to go in a circle. These comments sure. were so ridiculous that people started creating- We Albanians are the most racist people of the world, you idiot. We are the only white people with balls. <laughs> Wait, I think I'm learning a few things about myself today.
Hold on! Creating archives of them in places like r slash Balkan people internet, which would go on to be banned for promoting nationalism, which is the opposite of what it was supposed to do. It was making fun of the nationalism. But this will be a theme going forward, trust me. The irony would be pushed so far that people would start parodying their own cultures, not just other cultures, which ended up creating oh, yeah. one of the greatest and most influential subreddits of all time. Not just for Reddit, but for internet culture. They created Yay. r slash two Balkan for you. This community <laughs> took Balkan people internet and cranked up the Slovenian army. military. The whole point of this community was Balkan Most people coming not together to make fun of each other. Oh my god, I've seen this one. By parodying their own nationalism, which in turn spawned some of the most iconic internet memes of this generation. The most blank in blank meme was widely popularized due to its use on Two Balkan for You. It all the uh, most recent. Um, Balkan meme, I guess, that I can think of is that all Slovenians are fanboys. <laughs> I don't know where that came from, but that's the one I can remember. <laughs> the most recent one I can remember. Uh, yeah, Slovenians, can we get some representation? <laughs> also included parodying the stereotypes that were used by many Balkan internet posters. Now you as an outsider might look at this and say, hey, these people are making fun of each other based on things that I'm not comfortable with. Therefore, it's not okay. Boo hoo! You can't talk about them like this. I hate this. Present a counter argument. Balkan culture is nothing like your culture. First of all, it's normal in Balkan culture to make fun of people. Yeah, and it does. to not take that personally. Second of yeah. all, remember all of- We ain't no fucking pussies out here, man. Freaking, we ain't no pussies these countries raise people to be extremely proud of their heritage and their roots because oh they really are man they really 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 are <laughs> because historically there is a very good chance they've been wronged by their neighbors at some point in the past due to the sheer volume of history in the balkans as a result of this a lot of people would just avoid talking to anyone from a neighboring country due to the stereotypes they were raised on two balkan for you flip this narrative completely on its head by uniting people from the Balkans with one thing they all had in common. Nationalism. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Nationalism! <laughs> what a great thing to unite this video over. video is made possible by Raycon. Look, you already know what Raycon is, so let me skip the formality. I actually don't. Raycon's everyday earbuds have optimized gel tips for the perfect in-ear fit. Meaning not only are they comfortable, but they won't fall out. Trust me, I've tried. They also have over- I never believed that. <laughs> I never believed that. Like, I- I'm never gonna use AirPods. I'm never gonna use, like, earbuds that are, like, a single fucking piece. Because I'm too scared of For losing For 8 them. hours of playtime and 32 hours of battery life, which is insanely convenient. Nothing worse than having your headphones die on you. The sound quality is also great as it comes with passive noise isolation and stereo sound I've enhancement. I've tried. No more they mom do? walking in on you gaming. They stay in. They're also sweat and water resistant built to withstand that accidental, oops, I left them in my pocket and now I put them in the wash. So if you want to take oops. advantage of this deal and get 15%- That's not how water protection works. <laughs> I- I might have to call out on bullshit. I actually work for a phone company, right? Like, I used to work for a Sony. And, uh, for Sony Mobile specifically. And they used to make waterproof phones. Uh, with the, um, you all have seen the IP waterproof measurements? Have you all seen that? That's based on normal water. That's based on pure normal water no soap water so if it goes into the washing machine because there's freaking detergent or whatever the hell it's called like soap shit they might still break so he, he yeah so take that with a grain of salt just 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 saying that here because he said washing machine they're gonna they're gonna break in the washing machine, more than likely. Put mine on the washing machine twice, still working. Well, then you were lucky. Then you were lucky. Okay? 
but it's not a guarantee that they will stay resistant. Off your Raycon order, click the link in the description box below or go to buyraycon.com forward slash ghost gum to get 15% off your Raycon purchase. Thank you Raycon for sponsoring this video. Let's get back into it. It's this nationalism for their countries that they were able to bond over. Many users of Two Balkan for You argue that they would have never had perspectives on their neighbors and their upbringings had it not be for the subreddit. When in reality, mm -hmm. they have a lot more in common than they originally thought. I guess you could say it was ironic realizing they hated each other was the reason they came together. Yeah. In the end, all Balkan countries are more or less the same. Like, the people of Balkan countries are all more or less the same. Is my... Yeah, it's off again. But man. either way, they came together. One of the heads of Two Balkan for Why? You has explicitly stated that if it weren't for the subreddit, he, as a Greek person, would have never met his Macedonian or Turkish friends. He claims that if the subreddit never existed, Good tons talk. of Balkan people would still hold the same perspective of their neighbors. They were also able to turn Yay. up the irony and laugh at the people who- The internet doing something great! Yay! Who took their nationalism seriously. So in a bizarre, roundabout layered <laughs> way <laughs> so they, they cooled the tensions in historically one of the most tense <laughs> regions on the entire planet it's like cranking up the ac and the heat at the same time to achieve an average temperature and it worked now you see this perspective is a bit nuanced and hard to understand if you don't have a background in the balkans although you could just talk to a balkan person about that to get the perspective but hey, it might take a second to realize that even if i don't like this these people are okay with making fun of each other and being made fun of. Reddit admins do not think like this. You see, there's one type of person that no matter what, people on Two Balkan for you unironically hated. People from the West. And nobody embodies the yeah. stereotypical terminally online. The West, cultural appropriation, nationalism, all bad. No, you can't be racist towards you. Each other and hate each other. I didn't allow it. How dare you? How dare you? How dare you make fun of each other and are okay with each other? How fucking dare you? In the center EU, people laugh at each other and call each other names. Literally! Literally! Like, oh my god, the West is fucked. The West babied western person than the average redditor a couple of people came after two balkan for you most notably the users of ahs but it was nothing more than people just complaining failing to understand the point of the You said the F word again? I said fuck. No, 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 no. Uh, what I was talking about with fuck earlier, uh, if I say fuck during the video, that's fine. But I can't say it in, during the first, like, 7 to 30 seconds of the video, because then it gets auto-demonetized. By the way, that is an actual YouTube rule. That's a rule by YouTube. The first 7 seconds. Yeah. The first 7 seconds the subreddit which wasn't to be mean or hurtful but make fun of that it was just a small group of redditors though so who really cares Real reddit Welcome meet up did take some steps in changing the subreddit to be more advertiser friendly in order to not get it banned such as changing some user flair seems like westerners are soy boys they really are and you know who they're talking about when they say westerners bro my tracking is just dead today my tracking is just not working today. I love it. I love how my tracking is just not working today. <laughs> Either way, you know who we are talking about when we say Westerners? Because we ain't even talking about Europeans. We ain't even talking about Europeans, because Europeans know how the Balkans are. The Europeans have a shit ton of Balkans. It's America. When we say Westerners, we're talking about America. <laughs> Sorry to tell you, American viewers, but it is mostly you guys. I'm American, but I grew up with dark humor. That's great. You don't claim these soy boys. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
filter flares and making sure no unironic stuff got through. But this wouldn't stop them from the attack that was about to come. Not oh, no. from the Reddit mods, but the Reddit admins. In particular, one notoriously awful admin. Now, as previously discussed in another video, admins and mods are very different people. To understand this simply, admins are paid employees of Reddit, whereas mods are basically oh, yeah. slaves. Mods are the ones who get individual Mods are voluntary. Admins are the ones who get entire subs banned. Now, in doing research for this video, I got in touch with the head admin of 2 Balkan for you, who had mm -hmm. direct interactions with a certain Reddit admin. The messages between them perfectly paint the picture of why 2 Balkan for you was banned. So this admin, Cheetor? Cheetor? I think that's how you pronounce it. I don't know. Is the one we're going to be talking about. You might know her because she got caught abusing her powers on r slash place to erase stuff she didn't like, essentially defeating the whole purpose of place. She tore had taken some issue with two Balkan for you, citing that the user flares were in direct <laughs> violation of Reddit rule one. Here are the user flares on screen that they used to make fun of each other. Gay reek gay gay Bosniak fake people Serbia landlocked general <laughs> Turk Roach I mean that one's pretty uh, common That one's really common that's common outside of the Balkans too That one's common outside of the Balkans Bulgar Mongol horde okay Monkey Donian, <laughs> Sleepy Sir, <laughs> Romanian Gypsy. Okay, that one is also very common outside of the um, Balkans. They can't keep calling Exigon out like this. This is why <laughs> I told you, Slovenians are known as fanboys now. <laughs> Accurate. <though. laughs> You can be the judge for your fucking pussy ass people that get offended for other people, man. I hate people that get offended on behalf of others. Oh my god, I hate that shit so much. I, oh, like, as I've said a handful of times now during this video already, like the fucking cultural appropriation squad, man. Ugh. Virtue signaling. Literally, that's what they are, though. They literally are just virtue signaling, man. Ever since we entered the EU, I was like, yeah, you people can deal with them, though. <laughs> so, whether you agree these violate the rules or not, the mods had to agree. Oh my god, is, isn't that the pilot episode for Timmy Turner? Like, for a uh, fairly odd parents? The conditions. The mods simply wanted an explanation on why they had their user flares removed, as Cheetor had just removed them without giving them any warning or any heads up. They explained the point of these user flares was to make fun of people who were using them seriously Ow. in the real world. They also argued that they're criticizing themselves, not others. Therefore, it's okay, because everyone- Like, literally. Like, literally, they were just making fun of each other. Can't we just let them be? Like... Oh. oh my god. Are people still calling them social justice warriors? Because that's what they are. I haven't heard people calling people so so social justice warriors too much anymore. I feel like... That... Um... Word has kind of lost its meaning nowadays. Like, not many people use it anymore. On it. Either way, the mods said they'd be willing to change the flares if they got them back. As a JW woke. They wanted, mm, they just that just woke now. People just call them commies now. <laughs> they don't like it when people are happy. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. I guess that's the issue. Making fun of anything is bad because some doofus halfway across the world is going to get tilted. Living in the tents onward. Yep. Up, up, up. People are pussies! People are pussies now! People are pussies! While giving words too much meaning! A lot of people.
people never got beaten as a child and it shows. Now, if you look at the messages, it's clear Cheetor didn't even look at the response and just doubled down, saying that uh. their word was final and they wouldn't be getting their flares back no matter what. Because... <sighs> I don't know, man. Power! But Cheetor, being the hero she was, wouldn't stop there. They mentioned... We love women on a power trip. We love women on a power trip here, chat. We do love women on a power trip. Couldn't be me. <laughs> Could never be me. Team 2 Balkan for you was promoting hate and gave examples. The mods claimed that these posts weren't even promoting hate, and they also said they were trying to keep the subreddit as clean as possible, but felt they were being unfairly treated and given too short of a leash. That, that one's funny. Subreddit as clean the one here as on possible, the right. But felt they were being Look unfairly that. treated and given too short of a leash. They also pointed out that nobody on the sub was getting offended, who keep in mind Literally. were the end of these There is like no one on the sub gave a damn. They all found it funny. They made fun of each other. Let them hate each other in peace. Let them hate love each other in peace, man. Oh my god, who the fuck are you? Who the fuck are you to get offended on their behalfs, man? Jokes, but it was a Western person coming into another culture telling them what was okay and what wasn't. They pointed out that the posts mentioned yeah. were against hatred. The whole point of them was to make fun of nationalists in the region by parodying them to a ridiculous extent. They also claimed that a Reddit admin should be helping them to make sure their community is within guidelines not going on a power trip and harassing them yep, because yep, they yep, don't yep, understand yep. it. They yep, even asked yep, for yep. contact with another admin who didn't have the comedic understanding of a four-year-old, but instead, Cheetor made it so every post Did on she triple down? for you she tripled down. had to be filtered by the mods. Keep in mind, it had over a hundred thousand- Rest 000... in peace. Can we, can we get some 07s? Can we get some 07s in chat? Oh my god, rest in peace. <laughs> Ripperoni pepperoni, man. Oh, sevens on the chat. To be fair, the Netherlands and Belgium make fun of each other constantly as well. Yeah! Like, that people make fun of each other, man. Stop being such fucking pussies, uh. Users. Basically creating a spam subreddit where no posts it's could back? be made Yay! and they run into the ground. All of this eventually culminated in the deletion <gasps> and ending of two- Are you sure it's back? A sad Are you sure it's back? History. But the Balkan philosophy stayed the same until the very end. We own the subreddit, but we don't own the community. The community owns itself. Mm -hmm. And that was the end of Balkan people internet for good. Just kidding. These people have ah! survived the strongest empire in history and each other. You think yeah! some Reddit admin could kill them? Here is Balkans. They're literally roaches. <laughs> like, it's not only a Turkish people. It's everyone on the Balkans. We're roaches. You can't kill us. You can't kill us. I are them. Here what is the Balkans. I are oh. Oh, I guess the copyright there. Yeah, okay. Rip. Rip. That, that's the song that's playing that 100 percent doesn't understand Balkan culture proceeds to ban pets herself on the back for being such a good person yep yep right out of that chill People cope with hard To Balkan for you has 13k members. Hey, that's huge. That is huge. Would definitely recommend Ghost Gum to everyone here. Oh, it's this guy? Yeah, I will stop. That was a really good video. I liked it. Picasso, Picasso, 10 out of 10. I will end the video here. Thanks for watching YouTube. And yes. We are too Balkan for you. <laughs> cringe. That was cringe. That was so cringe. That was so cringe. I hate myself. Bye, YouTube. Bye, YouTube. Bye.